Are you frustrated with the ever increasing prices for cable TV? I know I am, and I'm always looking for an alternative um, to paying those hefty, hefty cable bills. Today we're going to be looking at the Clear TV Premium. It's an over-the-air antenna that's said to give you a whole lot of stations. Um, that's what I'm going to be looking at today. I'm hoping that it works. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I review some consumer gadgets, some other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you're notified every single time I release a review video just like this one. Now, let's see what the Clear TV Premium HD really can offer us. I want to point you to a little tiny sentence that's here, and it says, the results may vary depending on your distance from the broadcast tower and interference from mountains, tall buildings, trees, etc. So it does matter location, location, location. All right, so I purchased this uh, Clear TV from my local As Seen on TV retailer, Walmart. It was about 10 bucks, so cheaper than some of the other ones that I've reviewed. If you haven't seen my review of the TV Freeway or the TV Freeway Gold, I'll link those at the end. That way you can check those out. This one was 10 bucks. I think those when they came out were about 20, so automatically you're paying a little bit less. A little frustrating part is this does not have any kind of tear away, so right now I'm working on cutting it open just so I can get into it. All right. So I've got some directions here. I'll look at that off camera. Let me pull out the clear TV antenna itself. Do you remember? Hold on, I'm stuck. Do you remember rabbit ears? You ever heard that phrase? of old. That's what this kind of looks like. Oop, just little tiny rabbit ears. It's kind of interesting. Feels kind of cheap. I mean, it feels like it's wobbling pretty cheap. Like it, It's connected to a coaxial. Looks like a lengthy one. I'll let you know later how long it actually is. And then I have a 3M sticker here that I can um, stick this to something. This is pretty simple. All it does is go into the back of your TV, the coaxial. You do a quick program run and you'll see how many stations you get. Where I'm located, I'm located about 30 minutes from two relatively larger cities. And so I get both, but I only get about 8 to 10 channels, 10 channels on a good day. And to be honest with you, most of the channels I get it's not are not something I would really watch anyway. So I'm going to plug this in to see if this one does any better. Let's go plug it into the TV. So here we are. We have to hook it into the coaxial. I just removed my TV freeway from here. So now let's hook in the clear TV antenna. This coaxial is six foot long. Coaxial, I should say, is six foot long. Um, so that way you know how far you can put this away from your TV. So let me just screw this in and then we'll check our channels. So here we are searching for channels with our clear TV antenna. It's plugged in behind with the coaxial. Remember last time I picked up about eight channels. Once in a while I'll get ten, but the added channels are never any benefit. Um, I'll bring you back at the end just to see how many channels. We're about 26 of the way through. Oh, 28. We just found four channels. So I'll let you know what we find at the end read through the directions but first i want to know do you use any of these kind of as seen on tv antennas or antennas other than cable i would love to hear your success stories or maybe not so successful stories um i did read this and this one says you have to be within 35 miles of a tower a broadcasting tower so if you're further than that um or even at that you might not have so much luck it also says that you need to have one of those newer type of tv formats um, to, in order to do it. So you have to have like a digital tuner. So if you have an old analog one, you need to have at least a digital tuner. Um, but let me know in the comment section below. Have you used any of these things? Would you use one? Let me know down below. Well, this is unexpected. I'm about 75, 76% of the way through and it's found 14 channels. That's already more than the other two over the air antennas did. That's pretty impressive. All right, so 14 channels, not so bad. Um, let me talk a little bit about the quality of the picture because this thing says Clear TV, and I think it says Premium HD, right? So two of the 14 channels, I think it was ABC and Fox, came in really, really clear. 
Now, the remainder of the channels either were fuzzy, not fuzzy as in you couldn't tell what was going on, but it just wasn't true HD, like it was low definition, I guess. Um, I could still see it. It was still clear. It just wasn't high def. There's a lot of channels that I just probably wouldn't watch. So there was something called TBD. Um, there was a Comet. I did have CW. Ion came in. Ion Plus came in. Something called Kubo, Q-U-B-O. Never heard of it. Um, and then the three new ones that I have not had, um, Home Shopping Network, QVC, and the Shop Network. I'm going to get myself in trouble on those channels. Uh, I was just sitting there looking to see what new as seen on TV items or TV items were out there. Um, this definitely did better than the TV Freeway and the TV Freeway Gold. Now, I still use both of those antennas, but and they're, they're about 20 bucks a piece. Um, this one right here, 10 bucks, and it did better. Um, and so I'm kind of impressed with that. So I, I want you to know right now that this is not a replacement for cable. If you live in a, a city, like at, you're at Virginia Beach, you're in New York City, you're down in Miami, you're going to get a lot of channels with this. But if you're in a more rural area, you're in Central Virginia, you're in, I don't know, Georgia, wherever you might be, you're not going to get as many channels as others. So this all depends on where you are. If you're looking for something that's a true replacement for cable or satellite, this is not going to be it. This is just going to get you some channels if you don't have any. And like I said, depending on where you are, um, will depend on how many. One thing I was looking at is this, and I said it earlier, this is connected in here, right? And it's a six-foot cable. So my worry when I was plugging it in, as I was turning it, the wire kept turning. I'm like, mate, man, wait. What if this wire kinks or cracks or breaks? I can't replace it. So in that matter, this would be just a piece of junk. Um, so that's something I would caution you about. If you're going to screw this in, make sure you hold the one plastic and maybe use a wrench to get the rest of it. Because if you ruin this wire, it's pretty much over. And that's a difference between the TV Freeway and the TV Freeway Gold because their coaxial was plugged right into it. Um, anyway, this is my review of the Clear TV HD. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for sticking around and watching my entire video of the Clear TV Premium HD antenna. Let's talk a little bit about a buy or deny, right? Would I recommend you buying this or denying it? Now, if you live out in the middle of the country like I do and you don't really have cable or you just want a few channels, absolutely 10 bucks. This is an easy buy. Now, if you're looking for something to give you all the channels of cable, no, this is not going to do it. And therefore, I would say deny. So the, really, the choice is up to you. Um, I'm going to use this one over my TV freeway that I've used before. Um, I just took this off the TV that I was testing that one on, so I'll maybe put this one on a different one. Um, but speaking of TV freeway, if you have not seen this video, my original TV freeway antenna and video, I'm going to link it right up here. I would love it if you went over and clicked on this video and watched that with me. I'll see you over there. Go ahead, click it.